Hi everyone, I hope all of you guys are doing well. So finally we are coming to the close of 2022. 2022 I'm sure was a great year for you. Whether it was, whether it was not, I'm sure for 2023 you are looking forward to make it another great year where you could be on the way to achieving your goals and dreams. You know, in the past one year or so, I have learned so much in this year about all of you, about the aspirants, about myself, about my profession, my service in the IAS. I have learned a lot about aspirants because you 4.5 lakh subscribers are like my family. And I have learned about the mindset, about the kind of challenges an aspirant faces from a very different light by interacting with you all. And I have also learned a lot more about the UPSC process. I have learned a lot of more about my own job, about my own challenges that I've faced. You know, I also have a professional life. I also have a personal life. This teaching that I do when I get my free time is something that I like to invest my time in every week because I really like to interact and give you a very honest and sound advice on which you can act. So over the next few days, as 2022 is closing down, I'm going to reflect on a few things. Secondly, I'm going to also continue my answer writing 100 days challenge because that is helping hundreds of hundreds and thousands of aspirants who have reached out to me. That is going to continue. Don't worry about that. So today I wanted to talk about one very important thing. I did not want to talk about specifically UPSC preparation, but I wanted to talk about who is an ideal UPSC aspirant. In my view, there is no ideal UPSC aspirant. You cannot have a formula. You cannot have a bucket list checklist ki ye ye hoga. if all these things are there then that person is a perfect UPSC aspirant no nothing like that but I'm going to talk about one thing that a lot of us get into lot of us maximum 90% of us get into and because of which we suffer and that one thing is that lot of us UPSC aspirants they decide to get into this competitive mindset that we are competing against 2 lakh 3 lakh 4 lakh 5 lakh people who are going to appear for the UPSC exam or you might be taking some other exam you might be taking the RBI exam you might be taking the SSC exam you might be taking some other exam and you get into this mindset that you are appearing for an exam so you are competing against so many people and this competitive mindset with someone other than you with someone who is invisible to you this competitive mindset about defeating someone else is what makes you negative it what's makes you anxious it what causes a lot of depression a lot of times because a lot of UPSC aspirants ask me sir itne sare log, so many people are appearing for this exam what should I do different that is the problem you know that is a problem that really really I feel causes you not to perform when you are preparing for this exam and in fact an ideal UPSC aspirant is one who does not consider anyone as your competition an ideal UPSC aspirant is who doesn't bother about what other people are doing. An ideal UPSC aspirant is a person who is just only worried about stepping up themselves. They're just only worried about what is their own performance, what and how they're themselves preparing. They're only worried about what they feel is the requirement of the exam, what is the requirement of the task in front of them and how to achieve it. They are only, only, only worried about one thing, how to improve themselves, how to become a better learner, how to become a better problem solver, how to become a good administrator, what kind of qualities are required for it and whether this exam fits you. If you are a scholar, definitely this exam might not be for you. You might have a better place in ISRO. You might have a better place in any other organization where your qualities, whether your strengths will be better used, utilized. But as an administrator, whether this exam is something for you, whether, whether you are suited for this particular profession, that is how an ideal aspirant, UPSC aspirant thinks. And that is what I want you to think about. I want you not to think about hundreds and thousands and millions of other people who might be in the race. Because if you th keep thinking about them, you will not live in the present. You will not be able to utilize your time to the best possible. You will be wasting a lot of your time. You will be thinking about things that don't even matter. You won't be focusing on the syllabus. You won't be focusing on practicing. You won't be focusing on gaining knowledge. But you will be just focusing on how to defeat someone else, which is definitely not in your hand. What is in your hand? What matters is a positive thinking. A positive thinking in the line that how can I improve myself? 
what is it that requires me to crack this exam what is it that i can do myself to crack this exam do i need to do a lot of answer writing do i need to do a lot of reading of history economics polity what kind of basic concept should i be covering what sh- what kind of writing practice should i be doing what kind of pyqs i should be listen- doing what kind of syllabus uh, expertise should i have what what kind of complete expertise complete understanding of the syllabus should i have how what can i learn from other toppers who have done it in the past and what kind of advice they give me and of course there will be advice is dime a dozen ideas are dime a dozen nowadays i go to twitter i see so many ideas let's do that let's do this let's do that we should do this well come and execute you know what matters is whether you're doing it or not thinking about it and giving gyan is very easy today in fact for me to make this video doesn't take much time doesn't take much effort what matters is sitting down and working for it so thinking about these ideas i'm sharing with you is actually the hard work that i do all right just holding this camera and making this particular class is very simple it will take only 10 minutes but thinking about all these things and trying to give you a sane a good a level headed advice is what matters you know so i would advise all of you to think within to not think outside to not compare yourself with everyone or anyone what you should do is you should think within you should think about your strengths what are your strengths are you good at economics are you good at polity how can you make that section of yours very very strong so that you get very high marks what are your weaknesses in upsc how can you reduce that weakness so that you can at least get above average marks what is the weakness maybe you don't now know how to write well how you can improve that maybe you know how to write really well so how you can capitalize on that how you can consistently practice so that you don't drop that ball towards the end so think about your strengths work on your strengths your job is to make sure that your strengths are something that are able to be showcased when you are writing that upsc paper maybe you are a very good visual learner so learn f- through visualizations maybe you are a very good learner through hearing so there are different kind of learners visual visual learners hearing people who love uh, learn from hearing so visual learners hearing learners or listeners or people who actually write and learn you know i used to write and learn i am a writer learner i i write everything i write my daily journals i write my uh, diaries i used to write a lot i made a lot of notes when i was preparing so but that doesn't mean it will work for you all right it worked for me i used to write and learn maybe it won't work for you so figure out what are your strengths and work on those strengths and that is how you will be able to really compete not with the outside world but with yourself and you will be able to improve and when you see the improvement in yourself that is the biggest satisfaction you will ever get because that will take you to the next level that will make you better that will when you wake up in the morning you will feel better so my just very very short advice is don't think about others don't get jealous of others don't even look at others make friends have good times with your friends but don't try to compete with anyone obviously now that doesn't mean that you know you don't know what is a benchmark there are benchmarks if there is a runner he wants to set a world record in 100 meters he has to know that the what the existing world record is but you don't have to look at the person you can learn from that person but you don't have to look at the person as a competitor as someone who is your enemy or someone who makes you anxious that main isse haar jaunga i will lose to him or her what you have to think about is how can i beat that time what can i do in my routine to beat the time of 10 seconds to become the world champion in 100 meters and that is what as a upsc aspirant you have to think what can i do what can how can i make my preparation such that i can learn good things from others but also improve my own performance so those are the few things that i wanted to talk to you about today i wanted to talk about the ideal upsc aspirant and i think the ideal upsc aspirant the one who succeeds the one who eventually makes it is one or of course everyone is different right people are going to make it who actually believe in competition who believe in outside competition not inside competition but what i'm saying is i think you will as a person grow more in the long term if you think yourself not as a competitor with the outside world but someone who wants to improve themselves one step at a time only right, like they say 1% every day it is not possible to achieve 1% every day but it is possible to improve a little bit every day because that adds up all right so i hope this little video really helps you to put things in perspective gives a little bit of peace of my mind my reflections brings them to you all right so step out 
step out of the box for yourself not for the others don't think about the competition that is how you will become anxious free uh, anxiety free that is how you will become more settled with your mind and that is how you should start to 2023 all right take care see you soon again hopefully tomorrow or day after tomorrow i'll be sharing more of these and i'm going to continue my 100 days of writing challenge uh, all right take care bye bye